the AGD250, a digital video recorder from Panasonic's DVC Pro lineup, announced in the 90s and widely known around the world. This PAL version portable VTR, which joined my collection a few weeks ago, had some minor problems. I fixed most of them, but one of them was scaring me. Because it's not possible to find spare parts for such old devices anymore. Fortunately, my fear did not come true and I am happy to bring another VTR back to life, with just a simple operation. When I turn on the VTR, everything looks ok. The tape loading mechanism works fine. However, when it starts to play, the E01 error code appeared on the display, and also a zero sign was appeared right above this code, which made me quite worried. If this problem was a capacitor or even an upper drum issue, there was not so much I could do and this device would take its place in the warehouse as a spare part. Yes, as you can see, the picture is very distorted. Although I rewind it back and forth, there was no improvements in the picture quality. Before take out the upper lid out, I did some research on YouTube and found the E01 error code. And found that the E01 error code could be a clogged video head problem. In fact, this is a new word for me. Today, I've learned this new word about video technologies terminology. Clogging or clogged video head. Actually, this word should be another expression of the head contamination we know, but it is not. There is a slight difference between them. As I search on the web, I found a good explanation about this issue. When loose oxide builds up in the tape path, it can travel with the tape to the drum assembly and prevent the video head from making contact with the tape. The result is a heavily obscured image or a complete loss of image. A video head clock requires through cleaning of the video heads if the clock obstructs RF completely during playback. In most cases, several head clock cannot be removed by playing a cleaning tape through the VTR. The head and drum assembly must be manually cleaned using a cleaning solution. Let's crack on. I get out my isopropyl alcohol and special video head cleaning swaps to clean the contaminated head. These are specially produced swaps for cleaning video heads. I haven't used it for a long time, but it will be very convenient for cleaning very small video heads like DV Cam and DVS Pro. Other VTR upper drums like in Betamax, VHS, Betacam, Umatic, etc. are slightly bigger, so I can clean them by finger using a special cloth and alcohol again. I would like to remind that you should never move the stick vertically during this process. I position it according to the angle of the drum rotation and move the drum clockwise by hand. You have to be very gentle when working on such delicate and small parts. Look at the dirt comes out. Yeah. 
I clean all the paths, guides, where the tape passes through and the sound head also. Let's put the same tape in and play again. Yes, it's perfect. I want to try another tape. Great. So, for the first time, I own a Panasonic DVC Pro VTR. Actually, this is a very basic model. It doesn't even have a digital input and output. It has only composite in and out. By the way, I don't understand why a DV VTR doesn't have at least a firewire in and out as standard. Thanks for watching.